Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you're well and having a good Wednesday. Um, I just wanted to, I thought I'd hop on today um, and just address something we spoke about yesterday in the office. Um, and that was one of my colleagues um, on evaluation was asked by a vendor why he felt it important to mention that he's part of um, the Guild of Property Professionals. Um, it sounds, albeit I know it sounds foreign at times when you sit, when you know you've got an estate agent around and they're saying we're part of this and we're part of that, and it just doesn't mean that much to you, perhaps. Um, so I thought I'd just sort of put that into layman's is that as being part of this network, um, the Guild of Property Professionals, means that we operate within a network of over 800 offices. Now, what that means to a landlord or to a vendor or even applicants is that. Unlike other property networks or real estate networks in the UK, some of them actually, although under the, an umbrella network, they can compete for business. Whereas with our network, the Guild of Property Professionals, we actually work on a referral basis. So what that means for vendors, landlords, and again, like I say, applicants, is that there's no, there's no competitive element to it, it works on a referral basis. So for example, I think the majority of our referrals in our office comes from the London offices and even the, the head office in um, Park Lane. Um, basically it's footfall, people just calling in to that office because they're within their remit, say they're a vendor but they're looking to perhaps move and buy in Walton on Thames, Hersham, Weybridge or whichever they then get referred to us. So that benefits our vendors by getting more buyers. Um, same with lettings applicants. Maybe they'll hand their notice in up in Wimbledon. They are relocating to Walter and Thames. We'll get a call saying we've got a lettings applicant. They're looking for a four bedroom detached house, etc., etc. So when we mention that we're part of this network, it benefits you in that, you know, it, we've got higher footfall, more viewings, more offers, and hopefully it's at a premium. That's normally how it operates. So, the, you know, it's hopefully that sort of puts it into context as to why we say we have over 800 offices nationwide where we get people relocating for work or just change of lifestyle um, and that we've actually benefit from it a lot within our office. Like I say, very much from the London um, suburbs, like I say, Wimbledon, Clapham, north of the river, basically. Um, and that, yeah, it just brings a lot more custom, a lot more applicants who are either, you know, looking to relocate, buy your property, view your property, um, lettings or sales. So yeah, I just wanted to sort of put that into layman's as to, you know, just answering that lady's question, which is an absolutely fair question. You will get valuations and you won't always understand why the estate agent felt it necessary to, to say something that they feel is a USP, but you don't see the value in. Um, if you have any more questions, um, again, like I normally do, I'll put the group link below, which is the Walton and Thames Property Community Group. It's just a place where you know, we give updates on the local um, remit, uh, property market, how things are going, um, and we encourage questions too. So although we will address questions we get in valuations, more often in valuations that we do, um, we try and share that with you as well, so that when it comes to you maybe selling, getting a valuation, or speak to an estate agent, um, you know, you, you're a bit more comfortable with either the language they're using or why they feel something is a USP when you don't quite, you know, can't quite comprehend. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, just pop them below. I'll try and answer them today um, or pop them in the group and uh, join the group. Right. Thanks very much.